va directamente de aquí, pero no. Tu cámara no la permite abrir. No. Fíjate que a mí lo que me pasa es que cuando yo ingreso desde mi celular, lo que yo no puedo usar es el micrófono. No sé por qué. Entonces, en mi caso, lo que yo no puedo usar es el micrófono. Entonces, no sé cuál es el problema. Ok, señoritas, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Buenos días. Este, Vamos a aprovechar. Bueno, voy a, bueno, son las 7 con 12. Sí, sí, ya es momento. A mí no me gusta esperar tanto tiempo. Quiero que observen, por favor, chicas, en la pantalla. Quiero que observen mi screen, por favor. Ustedes van a encontrar acá dos iconos, dos links, mejor dicho. Necesito, por favor, esto solamente es como cuestión de práctica. Esto es como cuestión de práctica. ¿Saben por qué? Antes de que ustedes ingresen, ayer estaba yo pensando en ustedes en el aspecto de que yo les quiero dar un consejo. Yo necesito que ustedes se tomen el tiempo para comenzar a practicar el tofro. Porque uno de los detalles que a mí me pasó en mi, en mi, eh, cuando yo estaba sacando la licenciatura fue que yo me enfoqué, yo me enfoqué muchísimo en, en este, ¿cómo se llama? En conversación. O sea, yo me enfoqué en presentaciones. Yo, usted, a mí el catedrático me decía, vamos a tener presentaciones. Yo feliz de la vida que, que tuviéramos presentaciones porque, gracias a Dios, nunca he tenido ese, ese, eso de ponerme nerviosa. Pero una de las partes que yo sí fui olvidando fue la parte de la gramática. Lastimosamente, el TOEFL no mide conversación. En este caso, el TOEFL mide gramática, mide reading y mide el listening. Entonces, yo no sé en qué área usted se considera que le falta o que necesita en este caso, <coughs> o que necesita en este caso practicar. En mi caso yo tuve algunas trabas con la parte de gramática. En la parte de reading yo la sentí fácil, la parte de listening también yo la sentí fácil, pero yo les quiero dar un consejo y, este, y obviamente yo les voy a apoyar en eso también porque en la materia de inglés Va conmigo, yo no sé si con los demás catedráticos ustedes lo hicieron, pero en la parte de inglés conmigo sí van a practicar las cuatro habilidades, aunque lastimosamente conversación no lo mide. ¿Por qué le estoy diciendo esto? Porque yo ayer estaba revisando las clases y este, ¿cómo se llama? Y estaba viendo yo que tenemos que meterle más. Estamos viendo un contenido bien pobre. Estamos, yo decía, ¡Ay, Dios mío, si solo esto hemos visto. Entonces, eh, lo bueno que en el caso de ustedes tengo un montón de clases pero sí yo necesito de su parte. Yo les voy a dar las, el 50%, pero necesito que usted haga el 50%. Entonces, este tipo de evaluaciones, llega un momento en que usted, porque a mí me pasó, llega un momento en que usted dice, ay, Dios mío, oh, chica, ay, ay. pero créame que cuando usted ya está haciendo el examen, usted desea volver a estudiar. Entonces, una de mis preocupaciones con ustedes es esa, que pasen el todo. Ahorita yo estaba revisando mis cuadros con ustedes, todos van bien, todos van bien, todos han participado, ustedes saben que para mí la participación es un must, más que un parcial quizás, todos han participado, todos han estado en clase, todos aquí, todos ahí, ¿verdad? pero es como en mi caso, ¿verdad? yo nunca dejé una materia, siempre salía bien, pero ¿qué pasó? Cuando ya me enfrenté a la cuestión del TOEFL en el aspecto de la gramática, Ahí fue cuando yo les conté que yo lo dejé la primera vez. ¿Por qué les estoy diciendo eso? Porque una de mis preocupaciones con ustedes es esa, que pasen el tope. Usted puede sacar 10, usted puede decir, sí, mire, teacher, aquí qué bonito hablan estos hipótesis, pero ¿de qué me sirve si no estamos practicando las habilidades? Entonces, ustedes ya, ustedes ya hablan inglés. Sí, tienen todavía ciertos detalles, tienen todavía ciertos temores, porque cuando estamos haciendo evaluaciones de conversación se les escucha que... Se, se capto que piensan en español primero, traducen y después me dicen, todavía hacen eso, va, está bien. Pero, señores, lo que les quiero decir que a partir de ahora lo voy a comenzar a presionar más en la materia de inglés, porque me voy a enfocar mucho en TOEFL en este caso. No tengo el tiempo de decirle, miren, vamos a la U a practicar, es mentira. Ahorita, así como está la situación también, no lo voy a andar exponiendo a ustedes. Entonces, eh, va, vamos a hacer este tipo de prácticas temprano. Mi 50% va a ser este. Mi 50% va a ser este. Por ejemplo, ahora eh, tenemos una práctica también en inglés, porque toda esta semana vamos a practicar listening. Ahorita vamos a hacer esos dos ejercicios que es para ustedes. Eso, esto está regalado, porque obviamente no puedo comenzar con algo súper ultra mega avanzado, porque quiero ir despacio con ustedes. Pero vamos a practicar toda esta semana en inglés puros listening. 
puro gelsin. Así, perdón, los voy a hartar. Así, se van a... a Puchica, pero créanme que es necesario, porque el contenido que hemos estado viendo ahorita, discúlpenme, yo misma me presiono, está bien, pobre señores. No, hombre, está bien, pobre. Entonces, no se preocupe, no se estrese, pero sí necesito que siga poniendo de su parte como lo ha hecho hasta ahora, ¿ok? Necesito que, que ponga de su parte, vamos a practicar, 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 practicar. Así es que, ¿tienen alguna duda, alguna consulta, mis queridos alumnos? O alguna teacher, mire, ¿cómo, nos puede, ¿cómo podemos hacer? Pregunte, hijo, pregunte. ¿Alguna duda o consulta o todo está bien? Para los que acaban de ingresar, no lo estoy regañando. No me preocupe que no lo estoy regañando. Ok, ¿estamos bien? Hola, hija. Good morning. Everything Good morning. is clear. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, my dearest student, please go to your portal and click on it. I got exercise one, pass continue one, and I got exercise number two, pass continue number two. So, what time is it? It's 7 18. So, you have 15. Yes, 15 minutes is enough. So, do the exercises. Take a picture or take a screenshot and as you know you are going to send to me the picture into my private whatsapp so you got a, let's see yeah you got 15 minutes it's enough but if you need more time please teacher i need more please let me know okay if you need more time please let me know so any question about it no teacher everything clear okay thank you so much please go to your portal and i got pass continue one pass continue two do the exercise send the picture to your teacher and that's all this is the first uh dynamic this is the fair agenda for today so my dearest student thank you so much please go ahead if you got any question if you got any doubt i'm here for you
Otra de las cosas, porque yo trabajo bajo tiempo, hijos, es porque yo no sé si alguna vez ustedes han hecho algún simulacro de topo, pero o sea, ustedes van contra tiempo. Acostúmbrese desde ya a no pensar tanto en la respuesta, sino que en este caso lea la, lea la oración o el ejercicio que le pongan máximo dos veces. Nunca analice. Porque si usted analiza cada ítem, si usted analiza cada pregunta, si usted analiza cada ejercicio, los últimos ejercicios los va a contestar el Team Marín. Entonces, y, y de verdad se lo digo, o sea, ya cuando usted vea que el tiempo no le alcanza, usted va a comenzar a rellenarlo, porque el sistema de TOEFL es tipo PAES. Entonces, usted va a comenzar a rellenar los circulitos como que es Team Marín de dos Team Web. Entonces, obviamente no es el objetivo, por eso es que la gente no lo pasa. Entonces, una de las técnicas para la parte de gramática es que usted lea solamente dos veces. Si usted lee una tercera vez, es mentira, no le va a quedar tiempo. ¿Por qué? Porque hay cien, cierta fracción de segundos. Obviamente, estos ejercicios que están haciendo ahorita, para ustedes, pues son ultra mega fáciles. Primero, porque no, no sienten presión. Segundo, porque ustedes saben que tienen tiempo suficiente, aunque son 15 minutos, pero tienen tiempo suficiente. Entonces, vámonos acostumbrando a leer una dos veces, pum, elijo, si es buena, pues mi modo, y si no, pues mi modo también. Esta es una de las técnicas para gramática. En el caso de reading, una de las técnicas de reading es que cuando ustedes les pongan las preguntas, perdón porque yo sé que están haciendo el ejercicio, una de las técnicas es que las preguntas siempre las ponen en orden. La pregunta número uno siempre viene del inicio. Y... Aunque vamos a practicar reading más tarde, pero esa es una de las técnicas, que las preguntas las ponen en orden. Ok, aquí está la pregunta 1, la pregunta 1 siempre sale de la primera parte, la y así va, consecutivamente, consecutivamente así va. Y una de las técnicas de listening es que van a haber dos personas hablando y siempre la pregunta sale de la entonación de la persona que lo hace con más fuerza. Entonces, alguien está haciendo una, una conversación con alguien y de repente viene el otro y le dice X cosa. De esa entonación siempre sale la respuesta. Y lo mismo en listening también. No se ponga a analizar, a traducir lo que están hablando, porque va a perder tiempo. Usted tiene que lograr entender desde un inicio. Por eso les decía, toda esa semana vamos a trabajar listening. Puros lice. Y obviamente aplicado a qué? A conversación también, porque yo necesito que ustedes este, me dejen de pensar en español. Porque todos ustedes piensan en español, traducen y después lo hablan. Entonces, son esas cosas que vamos a ir puliendo en este caso. ¿Por qué la parte de conversación? Porque ustedes van para maestro. ¿verdad? Entonces, obviamente, ustedes tenemos que, eh, en este caso, pues, practicar los, las cuatro habilidades.
Alessandra and Irene, thanks. I already received your results. So 7.35. So Anita, Eli, Jackie, do you need more time? Ladies? Okay. Five minutes, it's okay? Five minutes, yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Yaki. Nice. Okay, and thank you, Eli. Really nice. Good job. Okay. Nobody's missing, right? No, nobody's missing. Okay, thank you so much, my BS students. Let's move on. Okay. As I said before, to continue practicing in this case or for this. Sorry for that. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, as I said before, my dearest students, today 
And for all this way, we are going to practice listening. We are going to practice conversation at the same time because in the future, you are going to work as an English teacher. So today is February Monday 14. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. So I hope you're going to enjoy with your friends and couples. So in this case, we are going to watch, we are going to listen an audio, and then we are going to answer some questions. This is for practice number one, your listening comprehension. This is going to be a piece okay for you, but as I said before, I'm going to give you the 50% to practice it because it's necessary and obviously it is a demand to pass the TOEFL test. Before to listen, before to watch, before to discuss the video, I got a new vocabulary related with this one. So could you please, let's see, Anita, help me please just to read the vocabulary. Smooth, understood, calm, or equable, as the feelings temper or serene, lay over, a period of rest or waiting before a further stage, in a journey also a stopper, stuck, unable to move from a particular position or place, or unable to change a situation. Snoring, the action or fact of making a snoring or grunting sound while asleep. While asleep. Thank you so much, Anita. So, in the TOEFL test, in the part of grammar, in the part of reading, there are some details that you have to into account. Number one, in the part of the reading, there always will be a it, it. And then I'm gonna ask you, what does it mean that? And you don't have time to read all the past completely. At English, there are two terms. Number one is scanning and number two scanned, scheming, excuse me. A scanning and a scheming. Pregunta de parcial. What's the difference between a scanning and a scheming? If you don't have any idea, yes, feel free. Teacher, I don't have any idea. What is the, what, what's the difference between a scanning and a scheming? Well, teacher, I think, but I'm not sure. Yes, yes, please, go ahead. Give us your opinion, your definition. Any idea, my dear students? A scanning between a scheming. Son dos técnicas que van a utilizar en el examen TOEFL. Anótelas. Anote, señoritas, anote. So, any idea, my dear students? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We got a scanning and a scheming. A scanning is when you read the whole paragraph, when you read the whole test in a complete completely a general way. You don't care about details. Ah, you are ready. Like uh, Anita did it before. Así como lo que acaba de leer Anita. ¿Qué hizo ella? Hmm? Scanning. Leyó normal. So, scanning is when a person read a paragraph, when a person read a test, when a person read a book, etc. Just for real. Okay, just for real. What is a scheming? A scheming is when you read, but you are care about details. Hey, what does it mean that word? Hey, what do you understand about that paragraph? So, a scanning is general. A scheming is 
details. So when you pay attention, some words that you maybe don't understand. When you read to understand, it is a scheming. When you are trying to understand, it is a scheming. When you are studying, it is a scheming. When you are paying attention on details, commas, etc., it is a scheming. What is a scanning? General. Tan simple como el, tan simple y tan fácil. Skimming and scanning. So, which technique are you going to use on your TOEFL test? Obviously, scanning. Why, teacher? Because you are going to have time for read, using, paying attention, focusing on details. So, I recommend to all of you, if you don't like to read, if you don't like to read in English, if you don't, if you don't have that kind of hobby, you, have, you must start. So, which technique are you going to use? Number one, scanning, because you don't have time to read in, using or paying attention on details. Number two, look at the words because in the total test, they always ask for that eat. For example, in this case, let's see, um, I don't have that example, quiero ver si tengo alguna lectura acá, creo que no tengo alguna lectura, vamos a ver acá, no, no tengo ninguna lectura acá que me pueda ayudar a, a enseñarles el ejemplo, pero igual lo vamos a estar viendo en todo el ciclo. So, which term are you going to use? Scanning, because you don't have time to read just in details, paying, more at paying attention. So, my dear students, I'm going to give you two minutes, two minutes. Quiero que por favor me copien este vocabulario, please. Two minutes, 120 segundos, and then I'm going to continue. Sixty seconds. Teacher, how difficult is to pass the top of this? It isn't difficult. It's just about you. If you start practicing from today, it's going to be a piece of cake for you.
I promise, I promise. But from today, I'm gonna put under pressure to all of you. Porque de verdad que el contenido está bien pobre, señores. Está bien pobre. Yo quiero que todos me pasen el TOEFL. I'm gonna give you my 50. Okay, may I continue? Yes? No, teacher, I'm not finished. May I continue? Yes. Thank you, Irene. May I continue? Ale, Anita, Eli? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uy, señores, qué bien que está haciendo. Qué barbaridad, porque esto trae más enfermedades. <coughs> may I continue? Siéntase, conmigo siéntanse en la libertad. No, teacher, no he terminado. Démosle, le doy ahí un par de segundos más. So, may I continue? Five, four, three, two. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. Look at this one. I got three simple questions. My objective for this week is, objective number one, how good are you at listening comprehension? My objective number two is to continue practicing conversation in a fluently A. Teacher, I speak English, but fluently? Teacher, I speak English, but do you think or are you still in thinking in Spanish and then you translate and then you answer? Teacher, I speak English, but what's your level? A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, what's your level? Okay, so I got three questions. Obviamente necesito que las copien también. Question number one. Have you ever had such a bad experience during a trip? Question number two. Why did Jose have to buy a new ticket? And question number three. How was the flight? What kind of problems did he have? Okay. In the listening part, obviously you are going to you aren't going to have time to answer that question using more than ¿qué? 20 seconds per question. I cannot remember 20 or 40 seconds, pero es algo así, 20 or 40 seconds. So, but as I said before, if you start practicing from today, it's going to be easier for you. Not easy, but it's going to be easier for you. So, three questions, if you want, you can take a picture, but I prefer old school. Write it down. I prefer the old school. So let's see, 60 seconds, please, to write it down, the three questions, and leave a space to taking notes. No estamos en bachillerato que usted me va, me va a contestar las preguntas conforme a los párrafos. Taking notes, tomando nota nada más. And then we are going to discuss question one, two, and three. So you got 40 seconds. Okay, you ready? Yes? Nobody's ready, my God, yes? Yes. Thank you. Just one student, okay? Yes. Thank you, number two, okay. Yes. Excellent, thank you so much.
Ok, señoritas, vamos. Please pay attention to the video. Hey, Johnny. How was your trip to Brazil? Did you have fun? Oh, hi, Shelly. Yeah, Brazil was great. I had so much fun. But the travel was anything but. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it was a long journey, to say the least. The way there was everything but smooth. I had to take two buses, a train, and two airplanes. I was so tired that when I finally got to my hotel in Brazil, I fell straight to sleep. Oh, no. What happened? Well, first I had to get on a bus to get to the airport. I had bought a ticket for the bus the day before, but then I lost it. I looked everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. It must have fell out of my pocket somewhere. So, finally, I had to buy a new one. Oh, that sounds frustrating. You mean they wouldn't just give you a new one when you showed them the receipt? I didn't have the receipt. I lost that, too. It was a complete waste of money. Anyways, I got on the plane. Then we were stuck on the runway for about an hour. The movies were terrible. And the food on the plane was disgusting. I couldn't sleep. Because the guy that was sitting next to me was snoring the entire flight. I tried to use earplugs, but they didn't work. It was really stressful. Then, when we landed, I had to get on a train to another terminal for my next flight. Well, the layover was really short, since the plane arrived later than scheduled. So I had to run as fast as I could. Oh no! Did you have your ticket for the train? Yes, but the train was jam-packed. I couldn't find anywhere to sit down. How terrible. Yes, I was standing and walking so much. My feet were killing me. I couldn't sleep on the plane at all. The food was terrible, and I could barely keep my eyes open at that point. Did you get to sleep on your next plane? No, not at all. I was sitting next to a mother with her baby, and the baby cried the whole time. It sounds like a nightmare, Johnny. Did anything else happen? Well, when I finally arrived in Brazil, I had to take another bus to my hotel. Well, that should have been easy. Right, it should have been. Unfortunately, the bus arrived an hour late. I was completely exhausted. At least it's all over now. Yes, except I have to travel there again next month. Oh, no! Okay, look at this one. What was the flight? How was the flight? What kind of problems did you have? Please. I mean, you have. No, you have not. You must take into all the details account, okay? Okay, the problem was it. No, you have to give to me at least five or six examples about question number three. So I got a, I got a question. It's necessary to watch it again or it's enough? Feel free, please. It is necessary to watch it again or it is enough. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Yes, please. Okay, thank you so much. So this is the last time, please pay attention. But question number three, what kind of problems? Please, you have to give to me at least five or six. Okay. Hey, Johnny. How was your trip to Brazil? Did you have fun? Oh, hi, Shelly. Yeah, Brazil was great. I had so much fun. But the travel was anything but. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it was a long journey, to say the least. The way there was everything but smooth. I had to take two buses, a train, and two airplanes. I was so tired that when I finally got to my hotel in Brazil, I fell straight to sleep. Oh no! What happened? Well, first I had to get on a bus to get to the airport. I had bought a ticket for the bus the day before, but then I lost it. I looked everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. It must have fell out of my pocket somewhere. So, finally, I had to buy a new one. Oh, that sounds frustrating. You mean they wouldn't just give you a new one when you showed them the receipt? I didn't have the receipt. I lost that, too. It was a complete waste of money. Anyways, I got on the plane. Then we were stuck on the runway for about an hour. The movies were terrible. And the food on the plane was disgusting. I couldn't sleep. Because the guy that was sitting next to me was snoring the entire flight. I tried to use earplugs, but they didn't work. It was really stressful. Then, when we landed, I had to get on a train to another terminal for my next flight. Well, the layover was really short, since the plane arrived later than scheduled so I had to run as fast as I could. Oh no! Did you have your ticket for the train? Yes, but the train was jam-packed. I couldn't find anywhere to sit down. How terrible! Yes, I was standing and walking so much. My feet were killing me. I couldn't sleep on the plane at all. The food was terrible, and I could barely keep my eyes open at that point. Did you get to sleep on your next plane? No, not at all. I was sitting next to a mother with her baby, and the baby cried the whole time. It sounds like a nightmare, Johnny. Did anything else happen? Well, when I finally arrived in Brazil, I had to take another bus to my hotel. Well, that should have been easy. Right, it should have been. Unfortunately, the bus arrived an hour late. I was completely exhausted. At least it's all over now. Yes, except... I have to travel there again next month. Oh, no. Okay, easy peasy. Nice. So, let's see question number one. Have you ever had such as a bad experience during a trip? Why did Jose... No sé por qué le puse Jose, fíjense. Why did Jose have to buy a new ticket? And how was the flight? What kind of problems did he have? Do we have volunteer? Thank you so much. Five, four. Three, or may I choose by myself? Me. Excellent. Thank you so much, Alessandra. Please. No, lo voy a hacer como voluntario de ahí. Okay. Ale, 
Could you please give us your opinion about question one? Um, yes, I had an experience and was when I went to the Cerro Verde mm -hmm. and the, my, the bus was stuck for a long time, long, long time. So we, we arrived very late. The okay. number mm -hmm. two, he bought a new ticket because he lost it and looking and looking and never found it. And the third one, the problems that I, I heard was the movies was very bad mm -hmm. and disgusting food, the disgusting food, couldn't sleep because the man was snoring a lot, very loud. And, and the air poles didn't work. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Really nice participation, Alessandra. Easy, right? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Volunteer, please. Irene, thank you. Go ahead. Um, the first question, I remember that when I went to the Crystal House, um, I, 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 I went there and I I went there at night and I remember that, that at night I couldn't sleep because there were many people that were making too much noise and for mm -hmm. me it was so difficult to to sleep and so I couldn't sleep and I I got angry because I wanted to sleep but I couldn't. It was my experience. Okay. Um, can I continue? Please. Um, according to the video, um, Johnny um, lost uh, his ticket and he has he had to to buy a new ticket and he said that the flight was to was um was so uh, maybe boring because um, the food was terrible and um, he had some ex bad experience because the, um, when he tried to sleep, um, there were um, um, a mother with a baby and the baby was crying. And I think that in, an, in the another, um, in the another flight, uh, he couldn't sit because there were many people. Mm -hmm. And he said that he took two buses and I don't remember uh, how many trains he took, but he said that the journey was so long. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Volunteer, please. Me? Okay, thank you, Ellie. Please go ahead. Which question, teacher? One, two, and three. Ah. <laughs> At the same Number time, one. thank you. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Uh, it's my experience, right? Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, it was terrible for me. Last year with my family, we had a bad experience because we decided to visit the beach and visit pools with my dog but at the end that we arrived we arrived uh, there we couldn't visit because they told me that they didn't accept my dog so it mm -hmm. was uh, i can't tell you but the, the i can't tell you how that i feel, felt in that moment but it was terrible for me. So we decided to go back to my home again. Okay, number two. Me? Yes, continue with the question number two. Okay. I still remember that the video said that he had to buy, he had to buy a new ticket because he lost the first ticket that he he bought both but also said that he also uh, lost his receipt for that reason he has to buy a new ticket and he said at the end that he wasted a lot of money mm -hmm. 
Number three. Yes. Uh, it was disgusting. Uh, Johnny said that because he had to take two buses, two airplanes to arrive to to arrive to the air to the airport. Also, he mentioned that the journey was disgusting. The food was disgusting. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when he was in the airplane, uh, the guy who was next to him, it was snoring all the time. And also he, he mentioned that uh, he mentioned that the, when they were the, when they were land in the airport, uh, they watched a terrible movie. Okay, thank you so much, Ellie. Thank you. Who's missing, please? Nobody's missing? Okay, thank you, Jackie. Thank you, please. Give us your opinion, one, two, and question number three. I, I had a bad experience on the RSW because uh, my family uh, will, uh, went or, and visit a beach and, uh, mm -hmm. and there, are, there, there are people that get drunk so they they were uh, a misbehavior so it was terrible and the second question why did jose have to buy a new ticket he has to buy a new ticket because he lost uh, the first one that he bought and so he has to buy another one because he he lost the receipt too and how was the flight? Well, he had a bad experience and the problems were that at first he couldn't sleep because uh, the boy aside him were, was uh, snoring a lot and he couldn't sleep. Then uh, he, he was a, a he was a, close to a mother and the and the baby didn't stop of crying so the movie was terrible and and he couldn't sleep uh, the the food was disgusting mm -hmm. and and he feel and he feel that it was a, a waste of money and it was stressful the the trip Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, good morning, Mauricio. I don't know if you watch good the morning. completely. If no, you, I you didn't. Know. Okay, Sorry. don't worry about it. I got another another exercise too. Thank you so much. So maybe Anita had some problem with the internet again. So I got a question, a simple question. How difficult is to understand an audio? How difficult is to understand a conversation? Could you please, Alessandra, se prepara Irene? Ale, question number one. It is difficult to understand an audio for you? Not usually. Mm -hmm. um, just listening is what, like this, like just no. But sometimes videos, informative videos for the kind of the vocabulary or the fluency is little, little hard. Okay, thank you. What about you, Irene? Se prepara Jackie. How difficult is to understand an audio? It depends because I had experience to in some exercise that I did last mm -hmm. year in there are some audio that um, the people who are speaking is um, British, British mm -hmm. English. They are mm -hmm. using British English. That's why sometimes I don't understand and I get confused. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is the part that I always say that it is really difficult for me to understand listening um, mm -hmm. exercise, but I think that I need to practice and I need to know a different vocabulary. Ok, pregunta Irene, pregunta, ¿ustedes ya llevaron la materia de gramática? Sí. Ay. 
Ok. Les pregunto esto porque yo ahorita estoy dando gramática eh, con un grupo. Y justamente uno de los temas que nosotros vimos el primer día de clase es la diferencia entre la, el inglés americano y el inglés británico. Y este, de hecho nos estuvimos quizás como una semana y vimos una, una barbaridad de vocabulario donde muchas veces aparte de, porque la gente piensa que el inglés británico cambia solamente la pronunciación. Y obviamente no es solo la pronunciación. Cambia muchas veces la estructura de la palabra. Por ejemplo, estuvimos nosotros analizando eso. En el caso del inglés americano, la gente utiliza grandes, grandes palabras. Por ejemplo, ellos dicen garbage cat. En el inglés británico, ellos solo dicen garbage. Entonces, ¿por qué utilizamos en el inglés americano las formas tan largas para hablar? Entonces, no solamente es la pronunciación. Por ejemplo, en este caso, estábamos viendo este, la palabra café. Si yo les digo a ustedes, let's go for a café, ¿qué, ¿qué entenderían ustedes que la teacher les está diciendo? Let's go for a café. Ah, vamos por un café o es, vamos a una cafetería. Hey, vamos a tomar, hey, vamos a echar un café, vea. Hey, let's go for a café. Pero en el inglés británico, aunque yo creo que en el caso del TOEFL todo viene, todo viene americano, que yo sepa no pueden meter ellos inglés británico porque el TOEFL viene de Estados Unidos, no viene de, no, no viene de Reino Unido, no viene de Europa. Entonces, pero en el inglés británico decir let's go for a café significa vamos a cenar. Entonces, nada que ver. O sea, imagínense ahí, nada que ver. Entonces, mucha gente dice, es que la pronunciación cambia. Cuando alguien me dice así, yo digo, ah, este cipote no ha leído. Ok, no solo cambia la pronunciación, cambia también la forma de decir las cosas. Me hubiera gustado darle gramática a ustedes también, pero bueno. Entonces, parte de, 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 del training, yo siempre le llamo, a, antes de tomar el TOEFL, yo siempre le llamo como, como que ustedes tienen que, tienen que entrar en un proceso de training. Por eso les digo, a partir de hoy conmigo vamos a entrar en ese proceso de, lo voy a hostigar, lo voy a aburrir, hasta mal creo que les voy a caer. ¿Por qué? Porque mi objetivo es que ustedes lo pasen. Entonces ya después cuando ustedes lo hayan pasado ya no les voy a caer mal. Entonces, por eso les digo, es cuestión de práctica. 50, 50%. Ok, thank you so much, Irene. So, volunteer, please. Uh, excuse me. I said, um, Jackie, could you please turn on your audio? Be ready, Mauricio. So, yeah. Jackie, to continue talking about the exercise of the skill of listening, how difficult is to understand an audio for you? Or maybe it is not difficult, right? Yeah, maybe if the, if I know the vocabulary is is easier than when I I don't know the vocabulary. For example, this listening was easy, but when the vocabulary is different, I get confused. Mm -hmm. For example, look at the vocabulary, Jackie. A smooth, layover, stock, snoring. Is that any new word for you? It, this vocabulary is, is new for me, but just snore, snoring, mm -hmm. I, I know that the word. Meaning. Okay, yes. excellent. Excellent, thank you so much. Okay, Mauri, could you please, and I'm going to finish with Ellie. So, Mauricio, talking about listening skill, it is difficult to understand an audio for you? Uh, yes, I, I, I think yes. In general, when uh, the, the speaker is talking too, too quickly, yes. but in a normal audio, when they're talking about, I don't know, with a technical language or about science, things like that. You know, where the language, it, it doesn't have too much slangs and chunks mm -hmm. and strange sound, sounds, I, I can understand very well. But when it's quotidian or, or, or a very informal language, it, mm -hmm. it takes me a, a, a long time to understand it. I need two or three times. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. 
Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mauricio. And the problem is we don't have enough time to think about it. As I said before, you are going to have at least, minimum, at least 20 or 30 seconds per exercise. Okay, Eli, please give us your opinion how difficult it is to understand an audio. Okay, uh, if I know the vocabulary for me, it's going to be easier, but... <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Uh, ¿Qué le, qué le estaba diciendo? Uh, if the vocabulary is easy. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if the vocabulary is easier, I'm going to understand that. But if you... If you uh, told me that I'm going to show you a video about medicine, Mm -hmm. I don't going to understand anything because mm -hmm. I don't know about vocabulary to medicine. Yeah, yes, I like it. I don't know my students. I don't know if you have the idea what are the levels at English. What are the levels at English? Uh huh. Any idea? Do you know the levels? Mm -hmm. Teacher, yo creo que es eso. Dele, equivoquémonos que así vamos a aprender. What are the levels at English? You are, talk, uh, you are talking about A1, A2. Mm -hmm. Continue. B1, B2, C1, C2. What's the difference between? Intermediate and advanced. Uh -huh. What's the difference between? Y no me vayan a salir. Que este básico y el otro es avanzado. No way. What's the, thank you, Alessandra. What's the difference between A1 C2. The level because A1 is basic. No, no es la respuesta que quiero. Hay una gran diferencia. What is the difference between A1, C2? Think about it. Think about it. Teacher, I think is this one. Dele, equivoquémonos, pero participemos. Yes. I heard that C1. In C2 is like a, like a master that you mm -hmm. or you um, not just understand or just speak. I mm -hmm. mean that you really know about English. Excellent. I always said, and this is true. This is my opinion. This is Gabriela's opinion. C1 and C2, it's just for people who born in United States. But as a Salvadorian people, it doesn't matter if you study, it doesn't matter if you got degrees, it doesn't matter if you got bachelors, it doesn't matter if you got diplomados, maestrías, etc. Because you are Salvadorian, you're not native. So no eres nativo. C1, C2, besides for native people, is also for, for people who have started to be a doctor because the vocabulary is a kind of, um, how can I explain that? But it's for people who started a career, but at medicine, a technique. It's a, it, C1 and C2 is for people who can handle the vocabulary in order to that person born in the United States. O sea, aunque usted estudie, aprenda inglés y todo, jamás vamos a llegar a un C1 o C2. ¿Por qué? Porque no somos nativos en el idioma. And that happened with all the languages, not just for English. That happened with all the languages. It is opposite. If an American people wants to learn Spanish, yes, they will be. Yes, they will, but not in order to a real Salvadorian or a Latin, per, a Latin person. Alguien puede, un gringo puede aprender a hablar español, pero jamás, por más que estudie, va a llegar a ser un nativo. ¿Por qué? Porque eso es algo, it's about culture. O sea, eso es algo ya de nosotros. Eso es algo de nosotros. O sea, teacher, ¿qué nivel quiere usted que nosotros alcancemos? A mí me encantaría que alcancemos un C1. Un C2 es mentira. ¿Por qué? Porque un C2 es cuando usted maneja términos, ya incluso hasta de medicina, términos políticos, 
No, señores. C1, tal vez. C2, solamente una persona que sea nativa de ese país. And that happened with all the languages, not just for English, not just for Spanish. That happened, obviously, with all the languages. So I'm going to finish with Anita. Hello, Anita. Could you please turn on your audio and just give us your opinion about how difficult it is to understand an audio for you? Tell me if you listen because I have internet. Don't, don't have worry. Uh, I uh, know that I need to like listen twice, like an audio to understand mm -hmm. like super well. But if I listen once, I catch like half of the idea, but if I listen to, uh, listen it to twice, yeah, I catch like the whole idea. And uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but the problem is you don't have enough time, right? Yeah. Yes, the I problem know. is, uh -huh. so teacher, how can I fix it? Just practicing from today, practicing from today every day. Look by yourself, look for more audios by yourself, como le dije. Uy, este ciclo lo voy a cansar. Yo no sé si alguna vez algún maestro los cansó, los hostigó, pero yo sí les voy a caer mal. ¿Por qué? My objective is simple. I want to all my students pass the top of class. Para los que ingresaron un poquito tarde, yo les decía, yo el día de ayer estuve pensando en los alumnos y estuve, porque a mí me gusta revisar las clases, porque yo misma me gusta evaluarme. Entonces yo digo, ay, aquí, aquí mejor hubiera hecho esto. Digo, o sea, yo, yo soy loca y me pongo a hacer eso. Eh, entonces yo estaba diciendo, este contenido está muy pobre. Si estos bichos hacen el TOEFL ahorita, me atrevo a decir que quizás no lo pasamos. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí llevamos ¿qué? casi un mes juntos y ya más o menos puedo ver el nivel que ustedes tienen. Como les decía al inicio, dicho, yo hablo inglés. Ok, pero ¿lo hablas fluido? Dicho, yo hablo inglés. Ok, como les decía mi grupo de gramática, con ellos llevo gramática 1. Y yo les decía a ellos, eh, la gramática no es solo hablarlo, también es aplicarlo a conversación. Tengo un montón de colcenteros en ese grupo. No tienen idea de lo fluido que estos bichos cre que creen que hablan. ¿Por qué? Porque todos son colcenteros. Y de los casi 20 que tengo, yo creo que la, como 15 creo que son colcenteros. Entonces, sí, se, sí ellos piensan que tienen la fluidez, pero ¿qué? Me utilizan un vocabulario bien, este... Ay, se me fue la palabra, bien como robotizado, pero no es la palabra, bien, o sea, como cuando hacemos planas, pues, o sea, como ellos dicen lo mismo todos los días, entonces ellos ya ahí, ya tienen el cassette, pum, solo se ponen el cassette todas las mañanas y ya lo tienen activado, entonces, lo hablan, lo hablan también, pero ¿por qué? Porque repiten las mismas palabras todos los días, entonces yo les decía a ellos, ok, ya hablamos inglés, pero hablarlo fluidamente es cuando you stop thinking in Spanish, And just think in English. So, one of the basic is vocabulary. As more vocabulary you have, as more vocabulary you are going to use, and you are going to speak more fluently. So, if you don't have an equation, yes, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, look at this one. I got three equations and I got the last video. Tengo un segundo, solo son dos videos nada más. So, Equation number one, look in the teacher, Lole, please write it down, the equation. Equation one, why he couldn't sleep? This is another video. Equation number two, what were his parents doing? In question number three, have you ever been enabled to sleep and why? Chicos, 60 segundos y finalizo ya con el segundo video.
Okay, may I continue? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. This is the second and the last. Continuous tense. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm not feeling well. I couldn't sleep last night. Why? At 10 p.m. last night, while I was trying to sleep, my little sister was crying so hard. What was your mother doing at that time? Why was she not taking care of your little sister? Well, my mother was washing the dishes. How about your father? He wasn't sleeping. At that time, he was watching a football match. Besides, my neighbors were dancing and singing. Oh, my God. Were they still dancing and singing at 10 o'clock last night? Yeah, they were making a lot of noise. Poor you. What a noisy night. Let's role play. Okay, the last time. Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm not feeling well. I couldn't sleep last night. Why? At 10 p.m. last night, while I was trying to sleep, my little sister was crying so hard. What was your mother doing at that time? Why was she not taking care of your little sister? Well, my mother was washing the dishes. How about your father? He wasn't sleeping. At that time, he was watching a football match. Besides, my neighbors were dancing and singing. Oh, my God. Were they still dancing and singing at 10 o'clock last night? Yeah, they were making a lot of noise. Poor you. What a noisy night. Let's role play. My dear students, could you please give it to me 30 seconds, please? Please. Give it to me 30 seconds. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry, my dear students. So let's continue. So questions, perdón, is contesté la llamada porque era de la universidad, chicos. Okay, so volunteer, please. Thank you so much. Question one, two, and question number three. Volunteer. Me. Okay, mm -hmm. Irene. Irene number one and Ellie number two. Thank you, Irene. Uh, he couldn't sleep because his little sister was crying at night. And um, his mom was washing the dishes and his dad was uh, watching TV. Um, and the last one, yes, I, I, oh my God, how I can play that. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. I, I got, I get angry when I am sleeping. And someone is talking and singing. I know oh my god. I hate that because mm -hmm. they don't they don't respect and, and when I am sleeping and someone want to talk to me, my god, I misbehave because when I am I think that when I, when pe people are sleeping, we we should respect because uh this this is what my mom taught me. When someone is sleeping, you, you have to respect. But when I am sleeping, I hate when people are making noise. Mm -hmm. we, we need to, we should respect them. But I, I always have that kind of situation. I don't know, but sometimes, for example, last night i i couldn't sleep <clears throat> very well because my neighbors um have a roster and their roster is so noisy <laughs> and, and and i and i talk alone at midnight when i hear that the the roster is singing 
I I I I fight with the roster, but the, but the roster doesn't understand what I mean. You fight with the roster, my God. Yeah, yeah because um I cannot sleep when he's singing, and I hate that. And sometimes I try to drink a a cup of tea, mm -hmm. but then my family is making noise too, and I it is so difficult for me because I. Sometimes, sometimes I get insomnia, and oh. that's why I cannot sleep. And I really hate the situation when people are sleeping while other people is making noise. And I and I always ask, "What are you sleeping? Do do you hear the noise out? And they don't they don't hear the noise. Mm -hmm. so that is my situation. Hey, how often do you get insomnia? Um, may, maybe two, it happened oh, very often. Times a week, sometimes all the week, all the week, and it is so. I don't know. The problem is when you go to bed and you think about yes, you know, all uh -huh. the things that you have to do uh -huh. on the next day. That ha that happened, yeah. That happened to me three three weeks ago, because as you know, I got an academy, so I got a lot of work. I but I got a lot of work, but I got insomnia because I was thinking, how can I handle my my both, the work at the university and the work at the English academy. So. I got insomnia thinking about that. My God, what, what am I going to do about thinking about my time, thinking about my free time, thinking about how often I'm going to switch off for myself. So, yes, I got insomnia. And, and, and you're right. The insomnia is when you're thinking about something. But one of the things yeah. that helped me to me a lot is read. I start really? reading. Yes, I re I start reading the Bible, and I get as fall asleep immediately. And another thing that you can do is that what I was practicing that. Um, I wa I was watching some video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, um, video and listening, are, listening you know? the rain. I heard in the rain. Uh -huh, but videos of relajación. I, I don't know how to say that. Yes, video. relaxing, relaxing videos. Yes, I was watching some videos and practicing uh, mm -hmm. what a girl teaches. Mm -hmm. and, and when I am practicing that, I, I feel relaxed. I feel relaxed mm -hmm. and then I, I fall asleep. Mm -hmm. No, hombre, y hay que dejar que todo fluya. O sea, a mí, a mí yo, yo fui a pasar consulta con un especialista porque me gusta cuidarme mucho mi, mi salud. Y una, una de las cosas claves que él me dijo fue, deja que todo fluya, me dijo. Y yo, bueno, sí, vea. O sea, eh, hay que dejar que las cosas fluyan, porque de nada sirve y, y que usted se sienta así como que worried, ¿verdad? O sea, no ayuda en nada. So, hay que dejar que las cosas fluyan. Thank you, Irene. Really nice. Eso es lo que me gusta de este tipo de, de, de ejercicios. No solamente que usted me dé su opinión, que, ay, que fíjese que yo opino que, no, hombre. O sea, si no practica conversación fuera de la clase, aprovecha participar en clase. Ok, next. Who's next? I think is. Ok, thank you. Volunteer, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Thank you. He couldn't answer it because his little sister was crying and the parents. He, his father was watching a football match and, her, and his mother was um, washing the dishes. Mm -hmm. And yes, I sometimes, yes, I, I have insomnia and I, it is almost impossible for me to uh, get sleep. So, but it's when I, I have a stress and I feel stressful and I I cannot sleep because I don't know I try to sleep and I close my eyes and I try and I try but it is impossible I don't know but yeah. my, like my, my, I, yes 
and my God, but how dangerous it is to be under stress today. Because you don't know if you are going to have a heart attack. So, yes, we got problems, yes, we got detail, we got situation, but no tiene respuesta. So, how dangerous is to begin under pressure today? That's why, that's why I always say to my students, from Monday to Friday, I'm available for you, but weekends, I disappear. I forgot that I'm an English teacher because it's mental illness. So, thank you, Jackie. Anything else, please? Okay. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. That's all, teacher. Okay, next, please. Sí. Alessandra, thank you. Go ahead, please. He currently because of the regular round in his sister was crying. Her parents, his parents were the, when his mom was in the room. His father was seen to the mat. And the neighbor was dancing in at night. So it was a lot of money. And uh, yes, I have been to having any work with it, but it's not presently, thank God. Uh, I am a busy person, I always say. Mm -hmm. So wait, 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 please. Wait, wait a minute. Just be careful with your microphone, please. Yes, I, I was thinking that I have problems. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Don't, okay, don't, if you have a problem, don't worry about it. Just now. Yes, much better. Excellent. Thank you. Continue, yeah. please. Thank you so much. But sometimes I, when I have stress or anxiety crisis, I can play. And this is difficult because the night feels very, very, very long and it's something eternal. Mm -hmm. And But thank God, as I, as I told you, it's not frequency. Uh, usually I keep it very well and I don't have problems. But when this happens, my God, it's so terrible. I suppose by myself, insomnia happened just on hours, but is it still happening? Ha is it still happening on teenagers too? Yeah. It's for the stress and I tell you that now it happens. Is for the and yes, sometimes I heard like, but you are late. No, why do you have? I, don't, <laughs> I am not. I don't have insomnia. Thank God, as I told you. But sometimes when this happens, and I heard and I know something about people, my friends, my friends that have, and mm -hmm. I know how difficult for them is because they told me, uh, yeah, I, I can't leave. Uh, I try to make this and that and I can and I don't know how how help them because it's something that just get, they can fix it in because obviously it will help right but it's something little difficult and obviously the adults is more more difficult yes it is but thank you so much. Thank you so much, Alessandra. Nice point of view. But one of the details is I got many students around six, between six and 10 years old. And the problem is, I don't know why his or her parents put under the pressure. Okay, you have classes in the morning. I'm talking about that kids. Now I'm not talking about you because you're out. They put their kids under pressures. You have classes in the morning from from 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. To 12, yes, to 12 a.m. And then you have kara, uh, you have karate classes too. And then you have swimming classes too. And then you are taking an extra course about English. So many activities for what? According to psychologists, it depends on your age. For example, a child who is between six and eight years old, it doesn't necessarily to put under pressure with doing a lot of activities. 
You have classes in the morning? Yes, okay. You can take one extra in the afternoon. Pero les meten karate, les meten inglés, les meten natación, les meten escuela de fútbol, les meten... ¿Y todavía los mandan un sábado en la mañana? No, hombre. No way. That is enough. So, let's see. Please continue. Volunteers. I think two people missing. Me. Okay. Mauri, go ahead. Uh, about insomnia. Question one, two, and three. Okay, he couldn't sleep because uh, there was a lot of noise and the parents uh, was doing other things but don't pay attention to him. And, uh, he, yes, Nebel is uh, without the capacity to sleep, right? Yes, Nebel to uh, sleep. Yes, uh, so there's a, I can, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, just this. Ah, okay. But if okay. you want to ask. Uh, no, no, wait, that's, that's enough for me. Thank you so much. Is there anyone who's missing to participate in the class, please? So about the three questions below? Me. Okay, Ellie, thank you so much. I'm going to, con uh, excuse me, I'm going to finish this dynamic with you. Okay, the first question, why he couldn't sleep? Because his little sister was crying and also because his neighbor were dancing and singer. And what were, what were his parents doing? His mom was watching a football match. No, his father, sorry. His father was watching a football match and his mom was washing the dishes. And the third question, have you ever been able to sleep? And why? Yeah, it happened to me uh, every every weekend because uh, my neighbors drunk and listen to music uh, all night, maybe. Mm -hmm. It was disgusting because you can sleep because they are singing, dancing, uh, doing disgusting things. It's terrible. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So my dear student, we are going to have a brief time. Vamos a tomar cinco minutos de receso, señores. Son las 9.48. Regresamos aproximadamente a las 8. 9.48. 8.48. Regresamos aproximadamente a las 8.52 minutos. Tomémonos un receso y nos vemos en 5 minutitos.
Okay, welcome again. So I got four questions. This is just to complete the English advanced classes. We are going, my objective for this one is, I got four simple questions, but please, I demand to all of you, we are going to have a conversation. This is not an interview. Ah, okay, my opinion is this, uh -uh. Is, this is not an interview, okay? So this is for discuss, this is for practice, this is for learn, okay? Because you are learning. I got four questions. Question number one, what were you doing on your last vacation? Question number two, what was the last time you were thinking about your future? Question number three, what was the last time you were arguing with someone? And question four, what was the last time you got angry and why? I got, as a teacher, I got two objectives. Objective number one, obviously, to have a conversation fluently, fluently, fluently. Ya les dije, les voy a caer mal, sí, porque el programa está pobre. Yo estoy formando profesionales, so. Objective number one, to have a fluently, fluently, fluently conversation. Question number two, you must. No, you should, no, you have, no, you can, no, you must to answer the four questions. At least two, or no, two, no, my God, at least three or four lines for every single question. I repeat it again. Objective number one is to have a fluently conversation. Objective number two, you are going to answer the four questions at least three or four lines because it's not just to speak in a fluently way it's also necessary to practice your grammar structure okay so my two objectives one to practice a fluently com fluently conversation and number two i want to make sure about your grammar okay so any question, my dearest students, when you finish to complete all the four questions below, we are going to have the discussions for the four questions. So any question, my dearest students, please feel free I to ask. Hear you. Okay, may I repeat it again? Okay, thank you. Veo que tenés problemas como de internet. Medio te alcanza a escuchar la pregunta. Okay, ahí repite. I have the other laptop and this. Ah, okay. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to repeat it again. Okay. I got four questions. As a teacher, I got two objectives. Objective number one is to have a fluently conversation. And objective number two, I want to make sure about your grammar structure because you are going to not just to give us your opinion, not just to have a conversation, you are going to answer the four questions. At least three or four lines per questions. And then when you're ready, we are going to discuss. This. So, is everything clear like uh, Lempa River? Or may I explain it again? It's going to be a yes, pleasure. Please. Excellent. Thank you so much, Princess. Okay, so uh, another question more or everything is clear? Excellent. Thank you so much. Teacher, ¿cuánto tiempo nos va a dar para eso? Uh, son las 8 con 57. El detalle es que vamos hasta las 9.40, pero siempre termino 9.35. Yo pienso que unos 7 minutos. 9.5 creo que podemos iniciar. Voy a ir como monitoreando. Vamos a ver a las 9.5, vamos a ver cómo vamos, ¿ok? Porque si sí, después me tienen que mandar la captura. Ticha, ¿lo puedo trabajar en la compu? Sí. Ticha, ¿lo puedo trabajar en el cuaderno? Sí. Lo importante es que lo trabaje, señores. Ustedes ya saben, aquí estoy pendiente. So, 9.5, iniciamos.
Okay, one minute left. Do you need more time? Or it is enough? Yes. More? Teacher. Okay, yes, more time. Yes, uh, Irene, I think. I got confused. Which one? We have to answer the, the question on, on the normal or just to answer talking? Both. My objective one is to have a fluently conversation and my objective number two is to make sure your grammar is structured. So you are going, besides to answer, besides to have a conversation, you are going to answer the four questions, at least three or four lines. And then you are going to take a picture, you are going to send to my private WhatsApp. It's, it is clear or, or may I repeat it again? It was gonna be a pleasure. Yes, but I, I haven't finished. Because... Don't worry. Maybe uh, five minutes more is going to be okay, my students? Five minutes more? Okay. Yes, it's... Okay, thank you so much. Yes, the point is not just to answer because you are good at speaking, but it's also to measure your grammar. Finish. Uh, yes, but I have a question. Please. Uh, you said that the center is it's very mechanical or something uh, like that. I, I, I cannot understand. I don't know if your audio has some problem. Could you repeat it again? Uh, you hear me? Yes, perfect. You, Excellent. Okay, okay. Uh, you said that the call center uh, English, it was... um like a mechanical a repetitive yes. thing yes that the uh, word i forgot it uh -huh. then does that mean that uh you're not thinking in english i mean if i got that uh, if i get an employment there i will be able to speak it yes of course though. it depends it depends on the account it depends on the account but you are going to repeat the same um a speech 
every day because you are going to face it out the same problems, situations every day. That's why I said it's it's a tech it's a technical vocabulary because it depends on your account because you are going to have the same problems, the same situations every day. And in question of listeners, I can improve it. Mm, yes, of, maybe yes, of course. At the at the first time you are going to improve, it, but then. You are going to listen the third day. The you are going to listen the same customers mm, okay. asking for a rebound all the time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. To work in a call center, yes, it is a good opportunity. There are many, many advantages. The payment is is good if you want to buy mm. your house. Excuse it's me, if you want. To uh -huh. No, it's not a question of money. Uh, I was saying that because I want to improve the skill, the listening skill, just for that. Oh, okay. According to my point of view, according to my experience, because I was working in a call center for ooh, five years ago. Yeah, no, my, my God, no way. Six or seven years ago. And yes, I improved, but then, it was a routine, yeah. But it's it's a good it's a good opportunity. Yes, it is. Obviously, yes, it is a good opportunity. Okay, my dearest students, the time is over. So who's ready? Me, teacher. I'm ready always. Who's ready? Nobody's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. O may I choose by myself? Saben que no me gusta elegir a mí. Siempre me gusta así como que voluntario. Sí. Excellent. Thank you, Mauri. Señorita, si necesitan más tiempo, please let me know. So, Mauricio, I got four simple questions to you. So, uh, could you please, before to start, could you send to me your picture your oh. screenshot Send it. thank you so much uh, okay excuse me and some, some don't worry take your time mm. Saben que me estaba afligiendo porque me sentía como con síntomas de gripe, como cuando me dio COVID la primera vez, pero ya me siento mucho mejor. Did you get COVID? What? Excuse me? Did you get COVID? No, my God. Yes. Ah, yes. Three weeks ago. Right. Three weeks ago. But you didn't have any big problems. Excuse me? There is a lot. Hey, there is a there is a, a lot of noise in your house. <laughs> and yes, uh, my sister has the the television. My mother is uh, out in the garden, and my brother is playing <laughs> with a uh, PlayStation. My God. Okay. Okay, uh, I can send it uh, right now. But okay, you let's see. To, I would speak first, and then I will send to you like the other jersey that are speaking. Okay, at the first one, what were you doing on your last vacation? Uh, I was enjoying it in a beautiful day. was not any cloud. It was sunny with a bright sun. Uh, I continue? Yes, but where? In a beautiful beach. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. I got. I got a question. For example, in my uh, case, in my case, I'm a person who prefers to go to the mountain. I I don't like to go to the beach very often because I don't like to tent. But what about you? When you go on vacation, you decide, or it's a family decision, or what? It's a family decision. I don't like it. But to be honest, I, I, I didn't remember what I did in my last vacation. So I put this. So when you decide to go on vacation, 
in this case are you a person who likes to be very organizing like a, okay i'm going to pack it i'm going to take this one or just okay yes uh, yes just uh, let's I, go. I, I <laughs> yeah <laughs> i prefer just to make a uh, just one uh, pack and just one luggage where i can put all my things i, I prefer to take um uh, as as less things as I can mm -hmm. because I, I don't want to be car carry all that with me. For example, uh, the major of the time, well, the most of the times I I take for so uh, it's very comfortable going uh, to uh, a place with too many packages. Okay, well, in my case, I'm a woman, but I don't need to pack a lot of things. But I got some friends that my God, just for one day and they pack like a whole vacation. Are you? Uh, no, I, I don't do that. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I decided just to... And yeah, when I go to a place to the need to stay a, a long uh -huh. time, and so a routine. I mean, a, a routine in the sense that I I don't want to be dealing with uh, problems with the transport, and uh, basically, because sometimes uh, of the of the car uh, the car breaks down. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I don't know, maybe with your schedule, uh, the the hour of 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 our of exit or an enter. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the journey. I mean, yeah, the journey. I mean, but in a specific okay. the you arrive and you leave a place mm -hmm. uh, I want to have it uh, 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 fixed uh, so uh, I want to follow that okay and... thank you okay uh, yes for the time question number two excellent uh, what was the last time you were thinking about your future about three weeks ago when I new skill could, could you please excuse me repeat it again uh what was the last time you were uh -huh. thinking about your future uh -huh. about three weeks ago when i was practicing new skills oh nice what kind of skills were you practicing uh i was practicing well i am I'm still practicing a uh, mechanography to write <gasps> nice there. the typing yeah because Huh? The uh -huh. Yeah, typing. The typing. The typing. Because uh, I couldn't do that. So I decided it was time to, to learn it because it's so, very uh -huh. useful. Yes, it is. Totally. Yes, it is. So do you have any specific objective for that? Or just well, to, no, no, teacher, just to practice it. Any objective. Uh, <laughs> in a specific. I can uh, use this in studies because I can write faster and that uh -huh. thing that helps me a lot to do homework and also to make, to make uh, mm -hmm. for example, my flashcards to study it uh, uh, quickly. Uh -huh. And also I was thinking that in a call center you need to have also yes. or in, in a place, well, it's very common that when you're you're going to get a job and uh, they would ask you for mm -hmm. some ability with the computer so i decided it was good. and for example mm, i don't know a teleperformance has many accounts that chatting accounts so people say yes i speak english but when you want to work in a call center it's not just to speak you have to be really good at typing yes yes he, and uh I I was doing well. I'm still doing my hours, and well, and and I 
and I uh, and I type some kind of doc documents mm -hmm. there. Okay, so excellent. Mm -hmm. I, I'm combining many things. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Number three. Uh, what was the last time you were arguing with someone? Somebody take my piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people who taste things without permission. Really? It's, no. it's about everything, like, for example, when you're eating, if I take a, a piece of pizza from like your that. dish, no, me too. I hate it. My dad used to do it. My God, I hate it. I am my best friend, too. I hate it. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. I, if you ask me, I, I will give <laughs> put your fingers in my <laughs> Yes, me too. Y, y son pocas las personas que somos así, but I really hate when people do that. It's disgusting. Yes, it's... yes, yes. <laughs> okay, number four, Mauri, please. Uh, what was the last time you got angry? Why? Today. I sleep in front of my, of my house. You say, what? I sleep. Uh, I think it is. Ah, OK, OK. Yes, it is. I, OK, I sleep. Are you OK? <laughs> no, but uh, there, there were many people in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I got angry. Yes, embarrassing. Oh. Yeah, embarrassing. OK, excellent. Really nice job. And I already got your picture let's see mauricio thank you so much i already got your picture let's see please okay um, okay thank you so much thank you thank you thank you okay ladies who's ready please excellent thank you alessandra please question number one yeah, yeah, please, if you want. Well, no, if you want, you have to. <laughs> I'm waiting. Wait, wait. I don't know if your if your microphone or it is your internet. Let's try again, please. No. Okay, yes, much better. Muy bien. Demole. Okay. Uh, yes. I went to the camera to celebrate my high school graduation and uh, was a surprise because we supposed that I, we, are, we were going to go another week, but there was this surprise and all my family were there. And I spend time with all my family uh -huh. and we create good memories. And on trail today, if uh, they are my favorite occasion. Um, number two, what was the last time you were thinking about your future? Your future? Well, actually, I think about my future every day. So, what? Yesterday, because I think that it's necessary to uh, keep this in your mind because it's for planning your future. And when I think my future, I remember my effort, all my effort, and why I'm doing that. So, for that reason, I think my future every day. Mm -hmm. um, number three, what was the last time you were arguing with someone? Well, was Saturday? And it was because I bought um, a plate of sopa de pata. And uh, <laughs> you don't like it? Yes, I like it. I really like it. And I was uh, exciting, excited for it. I was going to eat soup, this, soup, this kind of soup. Mm -hmm. And the woman don't give, didn't give me the tortillas. And he was, and she was arguing with me because no, no, I know it was so angry, <laughs> and because I was so happy, and she ruined my moment. Um, and number four, what was the last time you got angry? 
I got angry almost every day. <laughs> I'm a person very, very angry. <laughs> but the last day like, was... Like a mecha corta, dice la gente. Yes, exactly. My mom says, oh, son tu mecha corta. I don't want that now. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am very, very angry. But um, it was on Saturday too because I wasn't, I wasn't in my house. I mm -hmm. was in my auntie's house and she told and she asked me to take care of my cousin so uh, i i did it and that the older my my older cousin older the, the two is younger than me is younger than me but they they both um she was very very new and she wasn't kind with me and was uh, screaming and saying some things that us oh, so I got angry and I got very upset. So I came to my house. Nice. For example, my mom's always said, Gabriela, you have a lot of patience with your students, but it is totally opposite with my family. I don't know why. Really? But yes. And this is true. I got a lot of patience with my students. I like to repeat it again. I like to have conversation. I like to help my students. I like to find a way to help my students too. But it is surprising with my family. I don't know yes, why. Yes, me too. Exactly. It's a kind of tricky. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Alessandra. Nice. Okay, anything else? Excuse me. No, no, no. It's Excellent. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Ya voy a ir aterrizando, señores, porque no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo. Okay, volunteer, please. Mi teacher, ajá, uh -huh. oh, please, volunteer. Anita, Eli, Irene, Jackie. Sí. Excellent, thank you, Irene. And then se prepara Anita. Okay, please, Irene. Question one. Uh, I have to, to take the picture right now or... Uh, uh, if No, if you want, yes, later. Don't worry about it, please. Just start. <laughs> okay. Um, the first. Um, I was spending time with my family and with, with my pet. Um, I, I was watching some videos on YouTube, on social media. Uh, I was mm -hmm. learning about different recipes that I can I can use when I am cooking because I really like cooking and I am planning to go to an academy mm -hmm. and um, and I would like to improve my uh, my knowledge about uh, how to cook because I really enjoy uh, when I am cooking. Um, the second, the second one. Every day I think about my future. I I know that we we should think about our future plans, and I uh -huh. I was thinking about all things that I want to achieve. Uh, nice. The first the first thing that I was thinking is about my career. I would like to uh, achieve my career. Um, I want to finish my my career. I, I want to continue with my. I want to finish my career in English language, um, and I will. And I was thinking in. Well, I I have said many times that I I am working too, but um, I would like to get um, better jobs opportunity. Uh-huh. Don't worry about Sorry. the noise. Um, Virtual classes, don't worry. And, and I would like to get more job opportunity and well I would like to I was thinking in buy a big house, but when I when I if I have uh, many job opportunities. And um, always thinking about your future. I go, I always advise my students to not just to have one job. If you want or if you have the opportunity, have at least two. Because if you miss someone, if you miss one, excuse me, if you miss one, you have an extra. So 
Okay, I always advise my students to have two jobs, one in the morning and one in the afternoon or one in the evening. Yeah. Okay, yes, please continue. That's what I think. Um, yes, and it is possible when you speak uh, when you speak an extra language. If you want, you can work in a call center in the morning or part-time job or I don't know. If you want, you can work in a private school in the mornings and then in the afternoon you can have your own academy, your own business too. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, I know it is it is hard, but if you want to achieve all what you want, it is necessary to work hard. And now that you can, that you uh, that you if you have the opportunity, um, let's do it. Um, uh -huh. Well, this week or last week, I was arguing with someone, <laughs> one member of my family, because. It is difficult when you try to talk about patient. I know that sometimes <laughs> I I easily yeah. get angry. I know it is not easy to be patient, but um, I think that um, now that I am starting, I think that it is necessary to be patient. Um, it is necessary because um, we talk with different with diff uh, with many people in different ages and it is necessary to to be patient but uh, when I try to talk with a person about patient that person uh, get angry because uh, it is difficult uh, uh, try to try to um, I don't know try to explain people that um, patient it is necessary. And people, and people always demand patience, but they don't. <laughs> my God, my, um, they don't. All, all member in my when well, I live at least I can say that all my my brothers uh, don't have patience, and I want to be patient. My mom doesn't doesn't have patience too, and I think that my behavior is for her because I don't know, but um, I most of the time I try to explain to her that patience is necessary in her life. Mm -hmm. Um, we cannot uh, buy again our life. We cannot buy a uh, life. And sometimes we we get sick uh, because we are thinking about our problem because uh -huh. we don't have patience and we um, I am a person who sometimes have pain in heart and I think that it is uh, because I I I don't have patience but. Uh, I was thinking about that and now I am trying to be patient. Excellent, okay. Um, I think that last week, last week I, mm -hmm. I was angry. Um, most of the time I, I was angry, but now I am, I am trying to, to be patient, but I don't know if you hear the the roster that was singing I really <laughs> all the time. <laughs> my God, believe me, I throw water to his house because <laughs> I really hate but that. But it's yours? No, it's it's, it's um, your neighbors. Uh, yeah. And ah. Really ah, I got confused. I was thinking it's yours. Well, in my house, because I am receiving the class here at my boyfriend's house, because uh -huh. the, the connection, the internet connection is a little bit better. It's better. But uh -huh. my mom, my mom has roster and, and hands. But when they are seeing <laughs> my mom throw uh, um, rock, rock as, I, I rocks, rock. yes, rocks or stones yeah. or piedras. <laughs> Uh, piedras. Uh, the, he he throws uh, trunks 
to them when they are seeing my god them. hey poor animals my god hey i, no. I don't i don't like it but i respect them no but sometimes when i when i when i am there and i want to sleep and i want to <laughs> to rest i i tell her that i want to i don't know i want be to be careful with the animals protection because there is a new no. law <laughs> I know, but I love animals. I I have said that many times, but I don't like roster. I don't like roster because they mm -hmm. are they are so noisy. Uh -huh. Sometimes I I tell her um don't do that, don't do that because they, they are animals and they they don't know about what what they sing, what they sing, but um. I don't know, but I don't like that kind of. I thing understand. I understand I, your point because in my case, I, no. I got a dog. I got a dog, and I teach to him not to bark at any time because my neighbor has a dog, and my God barks all the time for all. Si pasa un gato, si pasa el del pan, si. O sea, ladra por todo. So uh, I, I got angry all the time about that, but I, I, I got patient. I got patient. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mirene? Yes, I know. We 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 to respect all animals. I know that. Um, but sometimes we need to. Well, if you work, if you study, or if you do many things that day, you need to sleep. And I think that when I am sleeping, I need to. <laughs> To be respectful. Yes, of course. Because you respect others. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's the law. Uno de los, de, de los, de los mandamientos humanos, uno tiene que respetar a todos los puntos de vista, los pensamientos, etc. Hasta los chuchos, los gatos y todo. Señores, me quedo pendiente con Ana y me quedo pendiente con, y, con Eli y me quedo pendiente con Jackie. Chicas, nos vamos para la siguiente clase. Eh, con ustedes con ustedes tres, perdón, voy a iniciar eh, la siguiente clase de, de inglés avanzado. Así es que nos tomamos un pequeño break, señores. Gracias por haber estado en su clase de inglés. Recuerden que vamos a didáctica y espero que tengan sus materiales a la mano. Vamos a tratar la manera y no, no vamos a tratar. Vamos a trabajar, vamos a aprender a planificar, vamos a aprender a hacer guiones, vamos a aprender a hacer jornalizaciones, vamos a aprender a hacer cartas didácticas y no crean, no es un, no es un gran business, Ebola. eso es fácil. Ya después ustedes a, a, a lo manual lo van a ir haciendo. Así que tengan a la mano sus herramientas, chicos, y nos vemos a las 10. Yes, en punto. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. Thank you.